welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily devotional podcast to help you walk with Jesus, live for Jesus and represent Jesus. Now let us open our heart to receive as Pastor Preji shares from the heart of God. Good morning and greetings in Jesus' name. Welcome to this brand new day, brand new opportunity that the Lord has given us to know Him better, to understand Him better, to walk with Him afresh. You know, in this season, we need to crave for understanding. We need to ask for understanding. We need to grow in our understanding. I would like to quote what my father once said on a call with us. He said, Dominion doesn't come by inheritance. Dominion comes with understanding. When you have understanding of your authority, that is when you will be able to have dominion. When you have understanding about your rights, about your gifts, about your abilities, about your God. The Bible says that they that know their God, they will do mighty exploits. It's necessary that in this season, we grow into understanding. We grow in divine knowledge. Let me read the scripture from the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 34. He says, Realizing how much the man understood, Jesus said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to ask him any other questions. Jesus is making this statement about a person who had knowledge, who had information, who had understanding. And it says, You are not far from the kingdom of God. He has not yet entered into the kingdom, but the understanding that he gained was bringing him closer and closer and closer into the kingdom of God. See, understanding will not help you enter the kingdom of God. Only revelation can help you enter the kingdom of God. But understanding can bring you very close to the kingdom, can bring you very close to the door which you need to walk through. In this case, this guy had not yet had a revelation of who Jesus is. Let me talk about another particular incident where Jesus looked at Peter and he said, Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. It had to come from my Father in heaven. Peter, what you just confessed with your mouth, that was a revelation. That's not just understanding. But in the case of this guy, he had understood well. He had grown in his understanding. Now he was almost ready to receive a revelation. See, when you grow in understanding, you set yourself up for revelations of heaven. Jesus is looking into his spirit and he sees how ready this guy is, how close this guy is and says, you're not far. My son, my daughter, you're not far. If you will continue to persist here, there will be a moment of revelation that will push you into a new dimension that will push you into a new perspective, that will push you into a new level, a new depth of knowing and walking with God. If you will not give up. The problem with so many of us is we come so far and we travel miles and kilometers and days and seasons to get to know God. And at at one point we get tired. At one point we become stagnant. At one point, we become lazy. At one point, we feel that we know everything. At some point, we become familiar. At some point, we let offense take over our hearts. At some point, we just allow the thorns and the thistles of everyday life to drown out of a passion and pursuit of God's presence. My prayer is that that will not be your story, my friend. You are very close. You are not far from the kingdom of God. Every morning when you receive a revelation from this podcast, it is drawing you closer and closer to an encounter with God. And this morning, I'm here to tell you that you're not very far from the next level that you're about to enter into. The next level will come when that revelation drops into your spirit. When this understanding transforms into a revelation, man, I'm telling you, you will climb into the next level. Nobody can stop you when you have the revelation. Nobody can stop you from being who God has called you to be. 
but in this season you have to watch out for every uh, uh, flesh every soulish activities and thoughts every interaction with the people around you that has the potential to drain out your desire to remain close to the kingdom of god your desire to continue to grow in knowledge to grow in information to grow in your understanding it says that jesus saw how much he understood may the lord see your understanding today god is not searching for people who have a lot of uh, earthly intellectual wisdom no god is looking for those that have heavenly understanding heavenly wisdom heavenly knowledge those that have renounced and refused to be the wise of the earth you know in the earth you may be known as a foolish person the the foolishness of the earth sometimes is the wisdom of god and the wisdom of this earth is foolishness in the sight of god in fact the bible says that jesus himself is the wisdom of god so if you can grow in relationship with jesus if you can keep jesus at the center of it all and if you can keep your eyes fixed and focused on jesus you are going to continue to grow in revelation you know the thing with peter was that he looked at jesus and he said you are christ the son of the living god whereas many others they kept comparing jesus to jeremiah to isaiah to one of the other kings and one of the other religious teachers whereas peter he said no i cannot i cannot compare this jesus to anybody else i cannot bring down my view of this jesus to just another conference and another meeting and another blessing that i need no this is a unique personality this is a, a there is no one like him he deserves my worship he has to remain at the center and he has to remain at the highest position and that is when that revelation dropped into his spirit that pushed him into the next level of walking with jesus serving jesus and in fact representing jesus to the entire world that is my desire for you and for myself that today we will not get tired of receiving and growing in understanding that our understanding will mature to become a revelation that's how we got to live today and for the rest of this weekend expecting and desiring for more from Jesus i hope that this word blessed you let us know whenever a word blesses you let us know in the comments how the lord spoke to you and we would be glad to hear what god is doing in your life have a blessed and a beautiful and an awesome weekend ahead we hope you are encouraged by today's podcast to know more about pastor preji or other resources you can avail or to receive help in any specific area connect with us at pastorpreji.com we wish you a christ filled day ahead